Hello, hello, how are you today? This is Julie Bling, and today's project is using the bundle Fond of Autumn, and it's a stamp set and die. Bundled together, you get a discount, which is great. And um, this is a Gotta Have It box, Gotta Have It project, where if you buy the bundle from me, I would love to send you five free card kits. And this is the second one. So the first one, just a minute, I have it nearby. This is the first one. Very soft, very pretty. Vanilla paper, I don't use it very much. But isn't that just nice? So that was the first one. This is the second one. This one uses the stamp set, and I'll show you about this here in just a minute. This big bouquet stamp. So it has the flowers, the leaves, and the little berries. Today's project, we're gonna use only the acorns, not the flowers and not the berries. And what's really interesting about this stamp set, the die, it cuts out, let me put it right here. It cuts them out separately. So if you want, which I'm gonna do later, um, like a summery springtime card, you could take just the flowers only and leave these other bits behind. Or if you wanted something maybe more Christmassy or holiday, you could use just the berries. But I had no idea, it's very versatile. Or you could cut it out all as one, however you like. But today's project is this right here, and the acorns, a little bit of ribbon, and then just acorns on the inside. Oh, I didn't color that one. Whoops. I'll do that before I take the pictures. How funny is that? Okay, so here it is. And the dies we'll be using are, of course, part of the bundle, Autumn Bouquet. Oh, this one here, Fresh Cut Flowers. Let me show you that in just a minute. Style of Shapes is for the thank you. And this one right here, is called Fresh Cut Stems Dies. You're like, wait a minute, what is that? That is Perfect Partner. Um, this is a promotion going on right now through September, and they have released all these different dies that go with existing stamp sets. So if you haven't already bought the stamp set and you like it, this is a perfect time to get it because you get the bundle pricing. Apple Blossom Dies, Apple Harvest Stamp Set, here is the fresh cut flowers. And I don't know if any of you have seen the past videos. This flower right here, I took that, stamped it, cut it out. It was so delicate. I thought, I'm not going to use this set again just because that was way too much work. And I did quite a few of them. Guess what? Like a week later, they came out with the dies. And the dies are not just the dies for the um, images in the stamp set, there's all kinds of additional little pieces. It's a great die set. So, Perfect Partners, Apple Blossom, Fresh Cut Flowers, Playful Piggies, Tree Trimmings. Ready for your Christmas? This is a beautiful bundle. Waterfall and Yeti Dies. I wasn't sure about this one in the catalog, didn't plan on buying it, especially because it didn't have dies. So then I started thinking about it, and I said something to Tony. I said, I don't know. He says, you know, Yeti is kind of like Bigfoot, and it's Pacific Northwest. He is like the icon here. So I got it. So we're going to do something fun with that soon. And while I'm at it, 24-hour sale. This just came out tomorrow, September 15th. Get 15% off stamps, not host stamps. Um, from the annual catalog. Look at all this. This is four pages of sale stuff. If I had any idea, I would have bought everything right here. I mean, there's so much on here. And let me know if you'd like a copy of this, because I could either send you, email you, text you, or it will be posted on um, my Stampin' Up! website, which is jillystampinup.net um, or just let me know. 
send me a message and I'll get it to you right away. But wow, that's huge. Okay. Didn't mean to go there, but there's, there's lots of exciting news. Okay, so let's start making another card like this one. Keep that there for reference. Because it's a polymer stamp set, I'm going to use my mat. And the dies, we're going to need to use our, our die brush, this little applicator. It goes on your, your tool. And this piece here, you could buy it separately and it just screws into place. And it works beautifully. And on the other end, you could see that I have my little pokey tool. But we'll use that in just a minute. And the dog is snoring today. You would think he's a watchdog and he's up all night or something. He's really good about sleeping all through the night without bugging us. Gold ribbon, isn't that beautiful? That's in the, um, the mini catalog. Okay, so all these pieces, these are inside pieces. A little bit of bling. Let's just start at the bottom. Get all these bits and pieces, it's hard to know. Okay. So, Sahara Sand paper, fold it in half. And, oop, don't need two of those. This is for the words. Might as well do it while I'm thinking about it. And the thank you, that's good. So this, this set, it's got great words in it. But the thank you fits best in um, stylish shape. It's pretty good. Actually, it fits really tight, but it's okay because this die, um, the cut line is in the center of this metal frame. These two sides, this side is dashes and this side is dots. So if you look at this one, you might say, got some dots through your U, but I think it fits perfectly. So it's all good. We'll be using this one. Let me keep that out. So we'll do it in Memento, because I'm using Memento to color in the bouquet. Thank you. Thank you. This one I might try to do a little bit different than the sample. And I'm going to, I know I'll need one of these leaves, oak leaves, and an acorn. I might as well do that. So this one, I was thinking there's quite a bit of white on either end of it. So I might try like chopping off this part after I cut it. Okay, you're, you're probably saying you're cutting that off, but it's gonna work out just fine. And with this bundle, there is an oak leaf and an acorn, a, like a separate little die. I'm going to have to do them separate because the dies are hitting each other. Hold on. They're colored. Do you recognize the color? It's a granny apple. This one, I did it in olive and mossy meadow. And then the leaves. We'll do the leaves that color. But I just love granny apple and parakeet party. Try to keep it a little bit calmer by using just um, granny apple. Okay, so we have those pieces done and colored. I'll show you about coloring on the inside in just a minute. Okay, so these pieces are for the um, bouquet of the oak leaf and acorns in memento. And it's a big stamp. So it's kind of hard to see. Did I get good coverage of ink? So I'm going to hold it, kind of hover it over the white paper. Then I can see how I did. That's fine. 
And if the paper happens to stick to the stamp, this time it's a good thing because I can make sure I have full, fully stamped image this way. Polymer, sometimes it just does that. But that turned out perfect. Okay, one more time. Feels like I haven't been in my stamp room in three weeks. I'm so happy to be here. Had a good time out playing, but it's really nice to have a day without obligations. Ooh, that leaf I got really close, but it stamped good. I wonder if I should stamp this on the inside. This one I just did the little free. That looks good. Okay, do that. I was going to stamp this on the inside, but I would probably get the flowers or the berries, and this time I'm focusing on the um, acorns and oak leaves. Okay, so now to cut these out, you don't have to fussy cut them because this die right here will cut out just the oak leaves and acorns and then I'll discard the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out and color them. Here they are. Okay, what else? My printer is making noises all on its own. I think it's shutting down. I got one of those Think Tank printers, and um, it's great for the refilling it, but it keeps on losing internet connection. So I went to print those flyers, and it said, we can't find a printer. I'm like, oh my gosh. So every time I have to get down on the floor under the counter, and um, I probably don't have to do this because the oak is going to cover it up, and um, put in the password for the Wi-Fi, Somebody said, oh, you just need to have a dedicated wire. So I did that, but it's still not staying connected. I don't know. I don't know if it's just Epson and their think tank or what's going on. Oh, I didn't show you. This paper here and this one. I just grabbed all the good things. This die right here comes in the bundle. Look at that. And if you got it, you're probably like, whoa, what is that? It's going to go on here. And it looks like, let me see. There. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And, and this die right here will cut out the whole thing. This die will cut this all out if you wanted that out and it also will cut out this whole thing in one piece rather than in chunks that's fun that's that's some thinking who thinks up these things those designers are incredible okay so here's this piece and this edge die I just had a piece of copper paper that's four by one and cut that out using this. And this is from the Fresh Cut Stems, um, the new, or the Perfect Partners. It's in that Fresh Cut um, die set. Fresh Cut Stems dies is right here. So that's another reason to get this bundle. Okay, I think I just need to start assembling stuff. So this piece here, I want this down flat and I want this on dimensionals. And you're like, well, how are you gonna position that just right? I have a plan. I'll show you the plan. Turn that one over. Get some dimensionals and because a lot of this piece of sand die-cut paper is going to be covered by oak leaves and acorns, 
you could put a dimensional in the middle and you can't avoid the little holes but even some of the copper is going to show through but a lot of that gets covered okay so that is loaded up with dimensionals so this I'm going to get it right in the middle but you know what do I want this branch at the bottom where do I have it on here? I'll do it opposite of whatever's on here. This one I have it up at the top. Okay, so this one will be on the bottom. And there's just like interest in the background. It um, There's no up, up or down, right or wrong to it. Okay, so that's about in the middle. So now this is ready to put on here. But I'm going to put some glue here. I was just wondering, can I do this card like this? That's kind of pretty. I'm going to try that. Hope that works. I don't know. But once I put this down, it's going to have to work. I'm sure it will. Hmm. Maybe it could go over here. Do you hear both of them snoring? He's exhausted. Maybe I could just like shake everything all up. This I want to cover up where that's peeking through. And then of course here. I'm covering up all the prettiness. Maybe I should just... Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so because the underneath die cut piece is kind of not showing, and just cut it in half. And position it here, here, oh, just like that. Oh, I didn't even put the ribbon on. And is it making you cringe that I'm using gold and copper? Right? They say all neutrals go together. All metallics go together. So I hope it will work. This ribbon is so pretty. So, oh, I think that's beautiful. Okay, I need to put this on. Be right back to that. So to put the ribbon on, just take your adhesive. I probably should have used my, let me pull that out. I just got all these refills. Stamp and seal. Okay, put that there. And now this, I'm just gonna have it ziggle zaggle across, like in the background. This doesn't have to be hard, so don't let this intimidate you. See, I think that's beautiful together. So I'll put it here. I'm going to keep it maybe a little in the middle. Here. That's Bo snoring. He's just exhausted. I think he's just happy we're home. Okay, now back to where we were. That looks good. Okay. So, 
I'll start with this one with glue. I think he's snoring so loud because he has on his little cone of shame. While we're gone, he, um, I think he's OCD. He starts licking his little bald spot because he thinks there's a bug on it. And he licks it until it has an ouchie on it. Maybe just like another week. And then he could be out of it. But he doesn't have the cone. He has a travel pillow. Because we've been through this too many times. Isn't that beautiful? Before I put that down too far, well, I'm going to scooch this over because I, I like those acorns showing. Oh, and I still have these little add-ons. Probably right back to where I put it. Okay, so right there. Oh, and did I say that I found this online? The Crafty Oink Pin dot co dot uk. First, on my notes, I had it dot com. Then I looked a little harder, and I think because it's in UK, the crafty oink pen dot co dot uk. Very, very cute. Okay, and then these, I think it needs to go there. Oh, right there, that's good. And these are the little standalone acorns, which is one of this and one of the oak leaf. Like it's fall. Okay, then I'm going to attach some bling and I'm using polish dots that recently retired but you can use like rhinestones or pearls and you can even color your pearls with um, the blends and um, then they'll be colored which is fun it's fun to do I'll put five of them on Anywhere, these these kind of look like dew drops. Two, three, four, one more. Right there. Okay, and then inside. So these are inside papers. You know, lots of layers it makes your card feel substantial, and it makes it. All the colors come together. I forgot how nice the stamp and seal is. I was out for a while. I think I have like six refills now. I'm ready. And it's super sticky. Okay, so just this piece is going to go in here. So I have the thank you. And I want to use the same words. Autumn wishes. Do those go together? Thank you and autumn wishes. Happy thoughts of you. I'm so fond of you. I'm so fond of you matches the font of thank you. So I, I'll do that one. You know I haven't used this one. If ever you have a new stamp set, wash it with um, 
like put it in Versamark and rinse it, wash it a few times because there's like a coating on the stamps or you could do this but do it at your own risk and it's just taking that little coating off of the stamps otherwise my ink it seems to ball up on here but when I do this it behaves I think it's putting like little scratches in the top of the polymer and um, then it holds the ink better but like I said at your own risk because one time I had a friend and she did it so much that she lost the dot to her eye. Can't have that happen. See how nicely that stamps? Okay, so now the acorns. And these could be like falling down. Or maybe I'll just do a um, like a grouping at the top. Hmm. Without masking, I don't know that I'd be able to do that very good. Well, that's okay. And the oak leaf can be at the top. At our old house, we had oak trees. We had lots of acorns. I know how these look. A little bit of coloring, because I told you I was going to show you about coloring. Not that it's hard, but I don't want to break a promise. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the colors that are on the front of the card are right here. So I have olive, crumb cake, suede, petal pink, and granny apple. You're like, what's the petal pink for? That is for these little swooshes, and I think that they pick up the, um, the tones in the copper paper. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I love the look of it. Okay, so to do the, I'll start with the leaves. And you're like, well, how many colors are in your leaves? There's four colors. I know it's excessive, but I'm not doing like particular blending. I'm starting with suede dark. And just tracing over all the veins in the leaf. You can see I'm not being particular at all. Just applying a little bit of color. On the acorns, on the green part, I'll take time to get that blended nicely. But this part, the leaves, they just get a little bit of color. Okay, that was suede dark. This is suede light. And I'm just gonna add like another layer of color kind of stretching a little bit outside of the suede. And I'll hold this up here in just a minute. Like I said, not doing any blending, so I'm not really sure that there's there's too much to, to teach you, but it, it, looks, um, it looks nice. The end result, when you look at the card front, somehow it just, it looks good. Four colors on each leaf. A little crazy. Okay, so the crumb cake is a bit pinker. The suede is a little bit more yellow. 
So I'm just going to fill in the rest of it, trying to leave room for crumb cake light just on the tips. And you can see that I'm not doing my best first grade coloring. Okay, and then crumb cake light will fill in any remaining white spot in the leaf. And when you look at this, you'll probably say, well, that's not very precise, but that's just how these are going to be. I'm embracing the abstract. That um, stamp set sale, that's kind of exciting. One day only, but wow. Because if you've been eyeing anything, this is the time to do it. If you don't have a demonstrator already, I would love to place your order for you. Okay, so next is on to the acorn cap. So that's done in... These are done in just suede. These, when I did these, they're done in suede, light and dark, and crumb light and dark. That was a, a tiny little spot, a lot of colors. So I tried to shake it up on this one a little bit. So this is um, suede light, and I'm just going to fill in the whole top. I'll go back and fill it in a little bit better. And then I'll do the stem. But I'm aiming for 100% coverage of the cap. Can you hear him snoring? He's just exhausted. Oop, okay, done. And suede dark I'm just going to do uh, maybe the bottom of the stem and then the underside of all these little um, like little knuckle things on the cap just to make it look like it's a little bit of a shadow probably should have done the dark first so that it could be more blended but that's okay these markers are great you do just about anything you want and it comes out good. Okay, so I'll hold this up. Not that it's that hard, but I'll show you. So I have the suede light and dark on there. And then I'm going to just go over with this and Wherever it's obvious that the colors are different, just kind of soften it up. Okay, so now on for the acorns. The acorns, that part is kind of fun. So the acorns, they're a little excessive. I have, well, there's no swishes, so I don't need the petal pink. I have olive and apple. So the olive, and I'll hold this up here in just a minute, is the deepest, kind of like the shadow color. So 
Okay, so that's all of dark. I'll hold it up. All of dark. Now here's all of light. Kind of blended a little bit. But you know when I put the granny apple on, I'm going to have to swish color over all of this olive just to make it, because the colors are so vastly different. This is very, um, like a very different green. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Okay, so I left room for granny apple. I'm probably saying not that much room, but I end up overrunning this olive color a bit. So, like you're like, oh, that doesn't look good. But wait until I put the granny apple light on. See, I'm leaving just a spot for the highlight, like where the sun is shining on the acorn. Okay. Are you wrinkling up your forehead saying, I don't know. Okay, so that looks good. But then when I take the granny apple light and go over the whole thing, it brings all the colors together and the olive just looks like a shadow. So just try playing with your colors. You never know. And if I wasn't holding this in my hand, I could probably color it just like these. But it's just fine. Okay, so I think we're almost done. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up. I watch for those so I know what you like. And there are three more um, cards coming using this bundle and they'll be very different than um, this autumn acorn type one. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.